You know, one thing that has been a topic of discussion in our profession for um, probably the last year or so is the carrying on. We have a lot of tenured officers. If you would have asked their fathers, do you want your kid to be a cop? Absolutely, I want them to follow in my footsteps. You ask tenured cops that now and they're like, no way. There's no way I want my kids to have anything to do with this profession because of the way people act towards us, because of the way people treat us. Because it used to be a profession where they understood the majority of us were there to do good. And they had a level of respect for you. They taught their children respect for you. When I was a kid growing up, <clears throat> my parents, um, you know, they taught me to, to uh, basically, you know, to respect my elders, you know, respect uh, uh, people in authority, like police officers, school teachers, you know, uh, public figures, whatever. My mom and dad told me, he says, you know, you get stopped by a police officer, you don't cop an attitude. If you cop an attitude, you're probably gonna find yourself in, in worse trouble than you were when they stopped you. Well, the respect feels as though it has been lost towards law enforcement and that we are under attack. And so when that happens, they've somehow turned you into bad instead of good, which is furthest from the truth. There are good police officers. The vast majority are good mm -hmm. police officers, mm -hmm. but there's obviously and then uh, bad talk. police officers, sure. just like any profession. Mm -hmm. But what's happening is, is police officers are being handcuffed in, in the performance of their jobs and it making it much more difficult for them to protect their communities, protect this country, you know, as a result of the... Well, and, and, and the point that you hit on, Dell, and I, I explain this to people all the time, is that I don't live in some far off land, you know, cop land where all the cops go after dark or something. I live in the community that I work, and it's very important to be involved in our community and keep our community safe because A, I live there, B, my family lives there, my friends usually live there, so I want that community safe. You're doing nothing your whole career but trying to do good for your community and good for people. And when they're constantly attacking you, I have, I have bad guys attacking me all the time. I, that's a known enemy. That's good to go. If, I, if a bad guy wants to come after me, let's do it. But when you have people who are actually good people attacking you based on feelings or based on perceptions and they're verbally attacking you or, or attacking your profession, that's a whole different kind of stress. Uh, so I think there's a big problem with it. I, I hope that we can get back to, you know, to a time when, when people respected, you know, their elders and respected police. It's certainly the way that I taught my children, you know, and uh, that they should, uh, you know, certainly respect uh, people in authority. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's not a, uh, uh, not something from a bygone era. Well, I, I'll give you a, a, an example that I recently, it was pro probably about a year ago that I, I go to this call for service. This older couple called in and they said, uh, <laughs> we've got these kids in this yard that they're back there messing around and we know that this house is supposed to be vacant. Well, they had went back home and we're in their house now. And we said, okay, so we're knocking on the door, no answer, no answer. Well, as we're knocking on the door, up pulls a van and out gets a lady. What are you doing at my house? Well, here's the deal. Here's why we're here. And she says, oh no, no not my kids. And so she goes inside and she brings them out to us, pulls the little kid by his ear, and she says, D were you at that house? Yeah, I, I was, mom, I'm sorry. And she says, well, who called us in? And I said, these people did. And she goes, well, why are you watching my kids? And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa let's, let's back up a little bit. And I said, these are your neighbors. They were watching the neighborhood. They saw uh -huh. these kids. That's they right. didn't know who they who were. They just saw them doing something that they knew they weren't supposed to. So they called us. They had no idea they were your kids. Then she says, oh, you live in the neighborhood. Yes, we live in the neighborhood. Yeah. You guys live in the same neighborhood. They saw your kids doing something bad. They brought it to our attention. Maybe next time they can bring it to your attention. You guys uh -huh. can actually be a community. I told the mom afterwards, I said, this is how things are supposed to work. Like we don't need to be involved in everybody's lives. You guys can That's take right. care of your own communities mm -hmm. and police mm -hmm. yourselves. Amen. And you know, then it makes our job much easier because we're dealing with the real bad guys.